So compression, as you probably already know, is where you crush up the waveform, it makes it sound much more powerful and beefy, particularly useful if you're doing, say, a public, um, uh, public announcements, voice of God kind of thing in an awards ceremony, say, people are chatting at the table, so a compressed voice really cuts through that. In radio stations and TV commercials, they compress as well, so it layers better over the music. But there are various electronic compressors you can do. First thing to do, and I've again mentioned this in a few of my courses, don't record compression at the point of recording because you will not be able to uncompress it. Sod's law, as we say in the UK, you're going to get a message from someone, love the voiceover, please can you send the uncompressed version because we'd rather optimize it ourselves here in the recording studio. Ah, I didn't keep it, you know. So if your voice goes from the microphone straight into a magic unit like a DBX or something like that, and, and it sounds great at the other end to you, but unfortunately the studio want to start from scratch. So that's why I record via, well, uh, 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 my famous Marantz uh, recorder. Uh, I've got a few of them actually. So I've always got an uncompressed version. And then from there, the Marantz goes into the computer and then I do crazy stuff with it. So it's, you need to have an uncompressed version of virtually everything you have. It's just a few seconds to you know, connect it and do stuff with. But to get back to the question, my favorite compressor is a multiband compressor, the one that's in the latest version of Adobe Audition. It is absolutely wonderful. Yes, you can use the legacy things if you like, but you see the normal compressors compress everything. A multi-band compressor, you can actually work out, mm, I want the bass compressed more than the treble, or the middle compressed more than the upper, and you've got this wonderful tweaking arrangement so you can compress different frequencies at different amounts. It is wonderful. Honestly, Adobe Audition, the multi-band compressor is, is worth its weight of for the monthly subscription they, they fleece from me. So that's my answer to the question. I hope that's useful. Hey, thank you very much for watching. If you have any questions, please let me know in the comments below or watch the video once more, just in case there's something you've missed. Now over to my left, you can continue watching. Just click the video you'd like to watch next. And please click the thumbs up icon to let me know if you've enjoyed this video and found it informative. And if you've not done so already, remember to subscribe and click that bell icon so you don't miss any of my new videos.